Hi, this is Gemma. Welcome back to my tiny house series. Um, and today I have a, a modernist tiny house for you, I guess. Um, this is a design that I've created referencing the modernist architecture of Mies van der Rohe. Um, it's a familiar style that many architects um, know and love. Um, and it's his um, sort of skin and bones architecture where you've got very minimal visible structure and a, um, and a complete sort of integration between inside and outside um, visually. So it's um, the, the premise of it is that you have these two platforms, these two horizontal planes, which are the floor and the roof. And, and then the structure supporting this roof um, is all exterior on these columns um, and in the walls internally. And that means that you can have these huge glass um, sliding walls or um, panels, uh, which give you an entirely immersive experience when you're inside. So the floor plan of this tiny house is five by six meters and um, I've created a sort of slightly lower um, element to the platform to create a, a step which leads you up to the front door, I've put a bit of log storage and then you come directly into this living area. So half the building is, is a sort of living, open living kitchen dining area and it's just surrounded almost entirely by these glass doors, uh, glass panes, glass panels. You've got sliding panels along one side and a fireplace that sits on uh, a concrete hearth which mirrors the concrete of the exterior. Um, there's space for a dining table, some seating and a kitchen which integrates all of your main storage. There's um, a utility and a fridge and um, everything that you could need all in one space in the central area of the building which would also have the main sort of structural um, elements to support the roof. And the nature of this building because it's surrounded by glass is that it's free-flowing so the doors that separate off the living to the um, sliding and bathing areas are sliding, they're pocket doors so they could be they could disappear completely and you would have this completely open feeling. So to head through here into the bathroom you've got um, the, the, the loo area which closes off to this door here. So the use of strategically placed solid walls means that you get the privacy that you need for your bathroom but you've actually got um, this little corner area where the shower is Essentially, it's in this area, but you're almost borrowing from the whole circulation area. So, so this is circulation area, which means that it's area that you walk in and it doubles as floor plan for the bathroom and floor for the bedroom. So it's, it's actually a really big shower. It's just that the shower head and the drainage is here. And you can look straight out outside so you get to feel like you're showering outside it seems to be a bit of a theme that I'm creating in all of these tiny houses and um, you know if you don't want to do that you've got sliding shutters that you can close across that corner um, you come through to your bedroom you've got sliding gla uh, glazed doors again so you can get directly outside onto this deck area you've got a bit of hidden storage here and I've put a, a shelf up high again to create some sort of decorative elements without using the floor footprint. So as I was saying you've got circulation space which doubles as the, uh, the bed, the, the room footprint um, and so once this door closes off then you've got your self-contained bedroom but once it's open then this becomes the free-flowing area and you're back into the living room area again.
So that's it, it's small, it's a single story, tiny house, and um, I hope you enjoy it. Like, share, and subscribe if you do, and make sure you catch my other videos.